Hi, I'm Matt Eskandari. And this is Wellington's son from The Gauntlet. And you're watching Pretentious, Pretentious Film, Film Majors. So, can you guys tell, tell us a little bit about The Gauntlet? The Gauntlet is actually a feature film that uh, I directed and Wellington, my producer, put together. Uh, it stars Bai Ling, Dustin Nguyen, Warren Cole, and Jamie Ray Newman. Uh, it's an action-adventure horror movie. Uh, set in this dungeon where these five characters are trapped and they have to find a way to get out. They kind of bond together and, and have to find a way to get out of this like hell that they're stuck in, basically. Okay, so how did you two get attached to this project? It was actually uh, our first film we did together. Uh, it was this film called Victim. It's on, it's on Netflix right now if you guys want to check it out. It's a psychological thriller. But uh, after finishing that project, we were looking for another film that, you know, something that would kind of be something new and interesting and different but still within genre. So we came across a script that was something that fascinated us. Kind of had elements of like The Cube and Saw and kind of those like survivalist horror films, which is something that I always loved as a filmmaker myself. So you know, we came across that and we decided to, you know, to shoot the gauntlet and put it together. So it was just a kind of a passion project. Yeah, basically uh, four guys straight out of college, you know, pursuing our dreams. And then um, <clears throat> we figured it's a really good time to uh, bridge the east and the west, you know, so we, we, we thought um, making the movie in China might make sense, you know, like it's a lot cheaper, uh, it's something different, and then we might get a lot of different elements out of it, so we just went ahead and did it. And then, uh, cool, so you mentioned right out of film school, how long have you guys been making movies? Well, uh, it's, been, it's been a few years, uh, I graduated from film school in 05, but um, since then I've done two feature films, a lot of videos, and uh, other kind of like production work but um, yeah I mean this was literally like just a few years out of film school it, it takes a while you know that's one thing that a lot of filmmakers don't realize is independent films they take a while to finance and put together and you know it's 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 not a a, a sprint it's a it's a marathon you know you got to be in it for the long haul you know you got to put in your your effort and, and really be in that for that long career not just I want to get out there and shoot a movie just because just because I can do it you know what I mean so that's my advice to filmmakers yeah, um, shooting in China, there was definitely a lot of problems that came along with it, but uh, I think overall it was worth it. It was a really good experience. We're definitely going to go back. Um, for Gauntlet, I think uh, we got a lot of production value out of what we spent, but I definitely feel like it could be a lot more efficient next time. So it uh, feels really good to be in this kind of environment where there's a lot of aspiring filmmakers, and uh, I'm hoping to work with some of them in the future, yeah. Cool. So from, uh, from shooting in China, how much of the influence of the films from that region seeped into your own film? Because Western horror is very different than, you know, Eastern horror. That's an interesting question. Uh, <laughs> I'd say aesthetically, some, uh, some aspects visually, stylistically, some of the, you know, Eastern films kind of had an influence, especially Japanese horror. Definitely, I love the way those are shot and lit and kind of the style of those have always been a, a favorite of mine. But um, it is it is kind of a Hollywood film. We were trying to make something, you know, it is a Hollywood westernized film, so it does have those genre tropes and genre elements that, that go along with it. So, yeah, it's definitely set, it was set in kind of a underground dungeon. But so, it, you know, it's, it's a combination of both. So I think initially we chose uh, to do it in China because um, first we have some... Uh, some friends there that, that are in an industry, but um, it's most mostly for saving costs. So, yeah. Outsourcing. Yeah, yeah outsourcing, <laughs> you know, like try to get familiar with the market, you know. So, um, as far as affecting his artistic direction, I, I didn't see none of that. I don't think so. We're just trying to utilize the environments as much as we can. So, yeah. so I just wanted to touch on your previous film, Victim, for a minute. This is a very interesting movie that I want to encourage all of our viewers to check out on Netflix. Can you talk about it for briefly, yeah. what it's about? <laughs> Victim was a uh, psychological thriller that I directed and Wellington produced. It was uh, it's a dark, dark, very disturbing, twisted kind of movie. It's, about, uh, it's basically a movie about revenge. And uh, what happens is, is there's this guy, he's trapped in a cellar. He's being psychologically and physically tortured in a very tormented ways it's, it has similar elements to like human centipede if you guys like that movie you should check that out but um it's different it's it's not as gory and it's so some people are kind of like they're thrown off because they're like i was hoping to see all this guts and gore but it's very psychological and methodical the way it's put together and 
it's I don't want to give it away, but it's just watch the trailer. Go to Netflix, watch Victim, directed by Matt Iskandari, produced by Wellington Sun. You check it's it out. It's a sick movie. It's not for the faint of heart, but um, it's definitely uh, I really love the script. That's why I produce it. Um, so I think it's a pretty interesting story. It is. I'll bet. I'll bet you guys have a ton of fans on Tumblr because this sounds like such like a Tumblr thing, like empowerment and revenge and yeah, very definitely. awesome. So. Can you tell our viewers where they can find out more about The Gauntlet? Yes, definitely. Uh, if you want to know more about The Gauntlet, first of all, you can go to our Facebook page, uh, facebook.com slash The Gauntlet Movie. Uh, we're currently you know, getting distribution together. We'll probably be released very soon. We'll you know, have distribution plans on next year, you know, who will be, what studio will be releasing it, so we'll have that ready. Or just Google you know, The Gauntlet, the movie, and you'll get more info on it. Cool. All right. Well, thank you both thank very you much so for much. taking some time thank out. So thank you. Thank you.